What up, y'all? It's Jordan and Eric from North American Adventures. Today we are in Virginia. We are doing White Rocks and Sand Cave hike today, and those are the two main features of the hike. The hike is just over 8 miles and just under 2,500 feet in elevation gain, and like I had said, you're going to see some white rocks, some gorgeous views from height, and then we'll get to some low points where we'll see Sand Cave. We're really excited for this hike. The weather is gorgeous. I've already met some friendly passerbys, so now we're going to get on the road, get on the trail. Let's do it. Catch up with y'all there. We're doing some uphill here at the beginning of the trail. It's quite humid and hot for this time of year for our Michigander, but we're loving it. This is a loop trail, so we won't see this area again. We're gonna go to the cave first, like I said, and then over to the rocks. It's just under four miles to the cave, so we'll see what kind of views we're gonna get on the way there. It's probably gonna be mostly low spots, as you can see, they're kind of surrounded by these cliffs. So, let's keep going. Hey, as you guys can see behind me, we've made some progress. We are a thousand feet up. We've taken sort of a meandering path up this cliffside, as they would call it, I suppose. The grade is pretty decent, but nothing too difficult. Definitely not 45 at all. And also the switchbacks are very gradual. So we are gonna continue. We're headed that way in front of me. And we're just enjoying this nice weather. The views are starting to open up a bit. Behind me, sort of in that direction, would be where we parked below. Still got plenty of uh, elevation to go and plenty of mileage to cover six miles. Let's do it. We are now at the start of the true loop. Here is White Rock's foot trail that's 0.2 miles up that way. We're actually going to be coming down this way and we're going this way over to Sand Cave first. Also, as of note, in November, the leaves cover this trail and it's very wide and well maintained. However, there's lots of small rocks that dot it and we'd be making a lot faster time if we'd be able to see where we're stepping and not bust an ankle out here. So thoughts maybe do in spring or in winter, perhaps, when you can sort of see the terrain a little bit better underfoot. done a significant amount of uphill now we are going into a downhill space to go to sand cave we are one mile away finally a little bit of a break it's a little bit cooler in here oh, beautiful day we just passed a sign junction that told us that we have 0.4 to go to Sand Cave. It's getting some nice downhill action right now on this trail, which we like after a heavy pump. We're gonna continue here and see what else this part of the trail has to offer. Cooking down the slope right now. Point two to go to the cave. I'm excited for some sand. Meet you. 
as we're now in this low spot and around water. You guys can see the foliage has changed. There is now like poplar trees and all of a sudden it's barely fall. <laughs> As you can hear, echo. there's a bit of an echo in here. It made it very cool hiking up to the top, as you guys can see. There's sand below us. So our footsteps are muffled, but they also echo. Signage describing this trail said that this was about the size of a football field. It certainly is cavernous or cabin, and it definitely looks to be about the size, although it's hard to tell gauge scale with the slope right now that we're on. Like most caves, this one was formed by water. As y'all can see above me, there are striations in the cave wall and cave ceiling, and that's what that's from. It's pretty peaceful in here, so we're gonna chill for a bit, just enjoy some of the space. It's obvious that a lot of people have been here. There's some pseudo fire pits, some chisel marks on the wall, and definitely uh, maybe a little bit of trash here and there. But it's a really nice area and very serene right now, tranquil without any people here. So we'll head down shortly. It's probably a between 70, 60 degree angle that we're gonna be going down and we'll try and capture. Sand cave check, White Rocks Overlook, 1.1 miles to go. Oh, they do. We're back at a familiar junction. We are gonna go here. So I guess that would be, that is to the White Rocks Overlook and to my left at the moment. It is 0.2 away. If we go back the way that we've been before, it'll take us to the parking and to the out and back part of this trail. So we're excited. We're looking out for some views here. We're gonna continue on to White Rock. We are making our way up. We just walked a pseudo ridge. We're headed up here. Just to let y'all know what these are. These are for tying up your horses and potentially keeping yahoos off of jumping that. <laughs>
Yay! We did it! We made it to the top of White Rocks Overlook. It's been a lengthy day, I would say, in terms of the trail. Not too difficult. The grade was very gradual throughout the day. And we got to see Sand Cave first. No one was on this trail besides one hiker today. And normally there's supposed to be horses, but we didn't see them either. So it was just us. Now we're enjoying these nice views as well as the snack and the weather. As you can see, it's hot. We sweat through our shirts again, but it's okay. It's the last day of these boys, so that's good. Off in the distance in front of us, we have the Great Smoky Mountains to, well, I guess that would be technically to our south. And then over this way, we have the Pisgah National Forest which I believe is an area that we're going to be visiting very shortly. Otherwise, I would say this hike comes highly recommended for anyone of all ages. You can bring pets as well. Just one thing to keep in mind, obviously, would be the terrain itself because it can get rocky and chopped up a bit with the horses coming through. So we're just gonna continue to enjoy this space up here, which we have to ourselves. We'll catch y'all coming back. Back on the Ewing Trail, off we go to the parking lot. We are making great time right now down the slope, y'all. Much better than going up, that's for sure. We have 1.6 miles to go till the parking lot, and I think we'll probably get there before the half hour. Let's keep going. Half mile to go. just got back to the car it was an eight mile trail today just over it actually just under 2500 feet in elevation gain as you can see we're hot and sweaty we got the area where we were just behind me and now we are just going to get ready to set up for camp and take a nice rest at the end of today we have a travel day tomorrow, and then we will see where we end up next. We have a decision to make if we're going to go south or a little bit southeast. If you guys like the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. We will see y'all in the next one. We love this hike. Take care.